the high frequency energy, the spikes are bringing in just massive amounts of charged particles, high frequency light that is having a huge impact on your field. It is moving through you as you ground this energy and expanding your field. And you're probably feeling a lot of these ascension symptoms. Now, what's happening is a lot of these symptoms are moving through you in ways that where they may be manifesting one moment, they may be gone the next. One big thing that I've been experiencing lately is a feeling of being ungrounded, a feeling of spaciousness, of almost walking in two dimensions, very, very dreamlike sensation. And that is a sign that my field is expanding as my light grounds and it moves up my central channel. It pushes my field out. So it's up to me to focus more inward to bring everything back into the body so that it can find its home within my physical vessel. That's what we want to do is we want to ground and integrate this amazing light. But when that light starts to move through you, it expands you and you can very easily become ungrounded. So if you're experiencing that, it's so important to stay hydrated, to ground, meditate, focus on your breath, bring it inward. You can envision your breath going down out your root, out your feet, deep into the planet and draw energy back up through. Keep your energy moving. There's a lot of um, tightness to uh, some joint pain, some back pain, lower chakra stuff happening as well. Again, this is just a symptom of the presence of the light. A lot of times when we start to have these physical type ascension symptoms, we start to feel like there's something wrong, but in reality, something is right. More of you is landing and is available for you to just bring it inward and facilitate in the process of moving your energy through your body so this new higher frequency energy, your higher self, you, can land and can be embodied within your physical vessel that's bringing all of that multidimensional goodness, all of the remembrances of abilities and other lifetimes and connections with your guides and your star guides, all of that is returning to you right here. So it's important to not really focus out here, but to bring it back into the body so you could facilitate in that integration process. Now, as your field expands and as the density starts to be released, you could potentially be feeling or experiencing anxiety. Another thing that's been coming up for me is um, an effect of time. I've had this programming, this belief that I never have enough time. Whenever I have a lot of things to do or a lot of things on my list, I always get into a panicky type of energy. So that is coming back up for me now because this old aspect of me that lo no longer serves me wants to be seen. So I am doing the work to be able to get present with this energy, feel all of the emotions that come up, including the anxiety. I'm recognizing what this is, an old aspect of unprocessed emotions, beliefs about the flow of time, and maybe a false belief that I really don't have any control over my perception of how time flows. And I'm sitting with that, I'm observing that, I'm recognizing it, and allowing myself to feel all of that energy, that anxious energy that is rising up, that is allowing that to be seen and come back into the whole and be integrated because I know that when I get present and focused, I can actually slow time down and become so much more efficient. You have that power as well. So as the expansion continues, be on the lookout for aspects of you that are old that no longer serve. This is a period of time and um, you're going to be experiencing a lot of old aspects of you coming up right now to be released, to be let go of, to not no longer be tied or controlled by those aspects. And we feel that dense energy. So again, honor that process. Allow that energy to rise up and be felt, whether it's back pain, pain in your, your maybe your diaphragm or your stomach, right? Uh, sacral pain, solar plexus pain, tightness in the chest, whatever it is, anxiety, stress. Allow yourself to breathe with that and feel it. Take control over how you feel. You have the power in any given moment 
to shift that. It could be old aspects of you rising up in that moment that's bringing these corresponding blockages forward and you can experience them as pain. So sit, become present, allow the energy to move through you and you will better be able to integrate the high frequency light that is so available to you right now. So it is time as we continue to head into the fall and into the winter in the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere in spring, moving into the summer, take a little less attention off of what's happening out there Bring more focus inward. You are taking your energy, your consciousness, and focusing it inward and allow these aspects to rise up, to be seen, and to be felt. Your higher self is asking you to create space. It is showing you what has been in the way, what has been dragging that process or making it more difficult to experience the higher frequency energy, right? These are all the things in the way. They're coming up now to be seen. It's going to be old aspects of you. You may recognize old programming. You may recognize old limited, limiting beliefs that no longer serve you. Allow them to surface, fully feel them, get present in the body, and you are going to up-level in a huge way.